Hi guys, Lee98 here with a quick tutorial on how to edit your back model so that you can have any model you want appearing on the character selection screen or course selection screen behind the main screen. So first of all you're going to want to open your back model dots and within that file you can see here we've got this dot open up and you can see the four icons that appear behind the screen when you're choosing which mode. So we want to edit timer, so we open this and here you can see that's the timer that appears behind time trials, so click export and export it as a DAE. Then we're going to head over to Blender and we'll rig our mesh to our armature. Right guys, so now you get your DAE file and you can put it into the FBX converter that we saw in my last tutorial. Make sure it's FBX 2013 and click convert. So you can X that out now and this as well. So open a new file of Blender, just get rid of these as you don't need these. So you can go to file, import, FBX and we're going to just quickly find that model H2, there we go, FBX and we can import that. There we go, that's the timer in Blender. So obviously we don't just want that, so we're going to go File Import again and we'll find King Boo as that's the model I'm going to be importing over the timer today. Just find that. Okay, okay, so there's King Boo, but as you can see, he's a bit big, so we'll get rid of the armature here by delete. And now he's huge, so we will <laughs> scale him down a little bit. And oh, oh, okay, yeah, there we go. We'll get him down to the size of the timer and we'll have to rotate him as well. Back up so it looks correct. Okay, I think he needs to go a little bit smaller. Oh, oh now I need to, um, I need to change this over to scale. There we go. Right, I think that would do. And rotate him a little bit more so he's facing almost 90 degrees. There we go. So now that looks good. We can delete the polygons that have come with the timer. So you just click here and delete them all. And I did not realize there is actually that many for the timer. But there we go. So then you can click Control, Select, and select the armature last parent with empty groups. And then you can go into edit mode and all of that's already selected, so we will just quickly delete these vertex groups that we don't need. Assign to the model vertex group so that it will turn when in the game. Okay. So then what you're going to want to do is go back to object mode and make sure you do that for the face polygon as well. And we get rid of the spin that's there. And then again, we want it on the same vertex group. So click assign. Okay. So we can just double check the weights. Obviously this isn't too necessary and we'll just normalize all of them just in case. But there isn't a necessity to do this because obviously it's all rigged to one bone. So that's all done. You want to file export at the X and then save it as something you know and some place you know. So I'm just going to call this one Dark Boo uh, Timer FBX and make sure you untick add leaky bones. There we go. Okay, so now we're just going to export that as um, a DAE. So we want to change it from an FBX by putting it back in the converter and turn it to DAE Collider. Okay, so now we will replace the timer in the back model dots by right click replace and we should have our dark blue, there we go. Make sure it's these settings, they're the same settings as in my character mod tutorial, but here's a quick preview, click OK, and then there he is. Obviously the textures are a bit wrong, so I think I'll just duplicate this one and replace both. Okay, and then I just need to find my dark blue texture. There it is. Okay, and the same for this one, but for the eye polygon. Okay, 
and then I'll just rename them quickly so it's something a bit simpler when I'm changing the materials. And we'll do the same for both. Okay, and then we'll change that in the material settings here. So that one was body. Okay, and we'll rename this one to I. And that should show dark blue. There he is. Okay, let's just check with a preview. Okay, and then we'll just check the loop animation and we'll click play. There we go, that rotates perfectly. That's how it should appear in game. And I think that looks quite good. So we'll leave it how it is. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to save your back model file and then you're going to want to open your My Stuff folder in your SD card. There we go. And we'll just copy the back model across. I'll just need to replace that. Okay, now we'll head over to the Wii and see if that's worked. And there we go. I have a time trial because obviously that was the timer. We now have Dark Boo rotating nice and slowly. And I think that looks pretty good. As you can see, he obviously appears where the back model would be throughout deciding the course selection and character selection. And if I had a lighter background, it would look a bit better. Um, but that will be another video. I can show you how to change the backgrounds. So yeah, this is the easy way on how to change any model for your character selection screen and course selection screens in the background using the back model boxes. So thank you for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you would like to like, subscribe or leave a comment that would be greatly appreciated and I'll see you tomorrow for a Dark Boo episode, cheers!